Good morning. Two kinds of figs. What will God do with the bad figs this morning? We're at Jeremiah chapter 24, verses 8 to 10 now. We had the good figs yesterday morning, and onward with the bad figs. Verse 8. And as the bad figs which cannot be eaten, they are so bad. Surely thus says the Lord, So will I give up Zedekiah, the king of Judah, his princes, and the residue of Jerusalem who remain in this land, and those who dwell in the land of Egypt. I will deliver them to trouble into all the kingdoms of the earth for their harm, to be a reproach and a byword, a taunt and a curse in all places where I shall drive them, and I will send the sword, the famine, and the pestilence among them till they are consumed from the land that I gave to them and their fathers. So now the bad figs are led away to be consumed. But these are the very figs that, that Jeremiah said they're so bad that they can't be eaten. So kind of in this irony here, God says, yes, they will be eaten. They'll be consumed by the, by the sword, by famine, by pestilence. And so this is God taking these corrupt leaders, especially the king and the corrupt princes, and he's, he's, he's setting them aside now. They have gone completely in rebellion against him and he is putting them aside. Done. Solved. Done. It didn't turn. Many options. Chapters and chapters of options we've read here in the book of Jeremiah. They didn't turn. Fine. They had their free choice. Away they go. Sadly. So then here's the story of Judah. The whole nation becomes corrupted until God intervenes and does the sorting himself. Just when we think that God hasn't been paying a lot of attention, we find out he's been paying very close attention indeed. And then it comes back to you and I. Are we having a part in helping the good figs be good figs? Or are we contributing to the bad figs being even worse? Which one is it? I ask you again, as I've asked you before, what influence are you having in your local church? Are you attending the meetings of the church? Are you attending the prayer meetings? Are you attending the outreach meetings? Are you in the uh, Bible study meetings? Where are you? Are you available to help with the children's division? When the nominating committee comes around and they say, we've, we've prayed about this, we, th we want to ask you to serve in this capacity, do you say no? Where are you? Are you visiting your fellow members? Are you cleaning up after meals? Are you in your basement waiting for the virus to go by? Where, where are you? Friend, are you willing to serve or are you uh, trapped in that space where a lot of us have been, where we're just consumers? We're just go to church. We just go to church to consume. But what are we giving back? into the kingdom? What are we doing for the vineyard? What are we doing for the figs? What are you doing for the production of the figs where you are? Something to think about. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be right. We pray that you will be our guide, that you will be our helper. Help us to be actively engaged, Lord, in doing the things you'd have your people to do in this hour so that we can have the, the maximum positive spiritual influence we can for the kingdom. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer Show us the way, even if it's just one step by one step, even if it seems like it goes slowly. Help us to be engaged in the battle, Lord. Help us to be on your team. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we've looked at this in Jeremiah 24. God will see to it that the unconsumable figs will be consumed and totally taken out of the way so that the nation can go forward again. And now on this day, may you go forward in God's plans for you.